This video is sponsored by Ntrack. I'm gonna get creative and start making a beat using the Android mobile app and then utilizing the cross-platform capability switch to PC in my studio. I love starting my day with music. Let's do it. Yo, I'm Mnemonic. I originally planned on filming this video outside but due to the current situations, we are here in the house. Let's get started with a beat. Mm. Upon opening end track, you're greeted with this screen. It's early, so I want to play the drums. Just to get some energy going. Look at that, a drum kit. Ha <laughs> ha! Now depending upon where you tap, you get different sounds. Like for the hi-hat, if you tap in the center, it's a closed hi-hat. And then if you tap on the outside, it's an open hi-hat. That's exciting. Now, if the virtual drum set look is not your vibe, you can tap the triangle arrow up at the top left, not the symbol, the, the triangle. And then tap the six little squares and it'll change it to a pad. Now to change the kit, simply tap up at the top and let's get something a little more fitting for the current situation. I downloaded the Ultimate Hip Hop Pack and in the house, does that not just perfectly fit this situation right now? We are in the house, baby. Right on, that's a nice groove. Time to get moving. It is definitely time for some coffee right now. Oh, come on. You know what? Hold up. I've been wanting to sample this. Yes. It is the perfect time to sample this. To do that in N-Track, it's actually pretty simple. All I need to do is add an audio track with this icon down at the bottom with the little plus sign. Add audio track. I do need some headphones. I know the kids had them somewhere. Headphones help because you won't pick up any of the, the background noise or the beat in the background. I'm gonna put some pants on or shorts on at some point. Priorities. Priority being coffee at the moment. Now I got about four minutes until this coffee's ready. In the meantime, let's record an instrument track. Let me grab something right quick. Adding an instrument track is actually pretty simple. If you tap the new track button right here, add instrument track, there's all kinds of sounds that you can download. I downloaded the blue jazz pack and I'm really digging the jazz flute sound. Now it opens up in the MIDI editor, but I'm gonna close that for now and then open up the piano so I can actually play it right here. Now when it comes time to record, my loop is set and I'm at the beginning of the measure, so I just hit record. Oh, this is ready. Ooh, yes, that is delicious. Speaking of delicious, let's add a loop to this. Like this one.
Yeah. This is from the Vintage Drum Sound Pack. Soul Drums, number three, 80 beats per minute. End track will automatically beat sync any samples that you import into your project. But this one's the same BPM and it just sounds really good. It's got that ride sound and some awesome fills at the end. So to add a loop, you just simply tap the plus sign down at the bottom right. And then it'll say what track it's on, track number four. And I'm gonna keep that there. But if you were listening earlier, This needs some editing. Right now, using the Android mobile app, I'm just capturing the inspiration. Trying to get a feel, sampled that really cool toy. I love the sound of that. And then once I get to the studio, that's when some of the meticulous audio editing begins. I think I'm gonna get some pants on, drink some more coffee, and I'll meet you in the studio. While I'm finding a pair of pants to wear, let me tell you about N-Track and how to transfer your Android project to PC. I'll see you in the studio. You're not watching this video because of my pants, so let's talk about N-Track. As far as pricing goes, there's a few different options, with a subscription to N-Track Suite giving you the most options in all of the sounds. Now to transfer your project from Android to PC, simply tap the blue share button, share it as a multi-track project. I found that email worked best. Then you're on to PC, there's a few different options there too. Refer to ntrack.com for more info. Okay, I safely made it to the studio, and I have pants on, so that's progress. This all started in the house, and when I say that, I mean the actual drum pack that I used by the same name. The hi-hats are a little too crunchy, so let's work on those. Now that I have the project opened on my laptop, I'm gonna use N-Track drums and adjust the tune of those hi-hats, kind of lower them in pitch, mellow them out a little bit, and also adjust the decay. Instead of it being a t t kind of more open, I wanna tighten it up, shorten the sound, and then also since they're a little harsh, adjust the frequency on the filter a little bit. That sounds a whole lot better. And to give it a little bit more life, I'm gonna adjust some of the velocities on those hi-hats, just kind of randomly. That's looking nice. Moving on to the wooden xylophone. Right now, the health of every person is extremely important, as it is always, but it's very relevant right now. So let me introduce you all to the doctor, the beat doctor. In end track, if you right click on any audio region, I know that was a dumb joke, get used to it. You can, all the way down at the bottom, open up the beat doctor. Now I'm gonna slice this or splice it by transient and line it up to the beat. Now it has shifted everything using those transients. I may need to clean it up a little bit, but that is sounding a lot better when I played it. I hadn't had any coffee yet, so my sloppiness was kind of throwing off the groove, which is not cool. We need the groove. Now that the groove is fixed, it needs just a little bit of EQ and some reverb. So let's add some EQ. I love that little 3D visualizer on the side. Earlier I downloaded the Convol reverb, Convolution reverb. I wanna check that out, see if I can find a good preset for it. Plate is bright. Let's go with something darker. That's perfect. Small church. I'm gonna adjust the dry and wet ratios to make the transients a little smoother, but also make the wooden xylophone sound a lot bigger and give it a little bit more space. Moving on to the jazz flute. I need to edit some of the notes. After listening to it again, just didn't sound good. I wanna add some more space to that as well, but instead of using a reverb, I wanna check out one of the echo effects or a delay effect and make it kind of trail off, make it kind of vibey. And when I think vibey, I think of some type of modulation, maybe a chorus or, yes, end track phaser. Let's try that out a little bit. 21 circuits of chaos. That's an awesome preset name. Okay, I'm liking that. I think I still need to adjust some of the notes, but we're on the right track. The end track. Yeah. I said it. Mm, okay, I've been thinking about it and I found a jazz guitar loop earlier. It's from the Blue Jazz Pack, the same one that had the jazz flute, and it just fits so good with this. I need to chop it up a little bit and I think it's gonna sound really cool. Let's see here. Yes, just a little bit of auto wah, wah. Now that the launch pad is connected and the lights are glowing blue, 
It's time to add a bass line. I've prepared for this moment my entire life. I'm using the upright bass sound and I added a little bit of distortion. <clears throat> Boom, I got some boost on it. And I'm using two microphones. And check this out, you can blend between the two. Let's do this. Now that is how you go from this to that. That is how you do this. I had a lot of fun doing this. n -Track, thank you for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this and you want to see how I made my studio possible, you can check out this video right here and here's some of my personal favorites. All the best to you and yours and I'll see you next time. Peace.